All right, guys, so I got this request to do a video about <clears throat> basic ways to get started with investing. Now, right off the bat, straight away, I want to let you know this is not professional financial advice. This is not, you know, meant to be taken as the 100% guaranteed way to win, right? Okay, don't take this, you know, and apply it and get mad if things don't go your way okay this is not professional legal advice this is just my experience okay this is just what i believe might work for you because it's worked for me okay and this is what i do so <clears throat> yeah now what is investing first of all now basically you know when you're investing you're taking money that you already got and you're investing it right you're putting it into a system or a place somewhere, right, that is going to make more money grow. It's gonna make that money that you put into it grow, right, without you having to do anything. That's the whole point of investing your money. It's being able to use that money to which then you can basically do nothing and that money will still grow, right? So everybody wants to invest. Everybody wants to become an investor. Everybody wants to say they're, you know, a fucking investor. Everybody thinks, you know, it's the coolest thing ever. And it is, it is cool. You know, it's really great to be able to have that passive source of income. It's really great to be have that, to have that, <clears throat> you know, that vehicle that's creating you income. Now, again, investing is not for everybody. If you're somebody right now who has like very little money, okay, if you're barely getting by, right, if you got like no savings, you got at least like three to six months saved up. If you don't got that, I wouldn't even try investing if I was you, okay? Okay, and if you've never done any research into investing at all, if you never even looked into what investing is or, you know, you don't even really have any idea what the concept is, do some research before you just start investing, right? You're not going to know what the fuck you're doing. So, if you're somebody who's getting by, check the check, like I said, don't do this, okay? Don't do this. Get your money right, get your income right, get your cash flow right so that you can invest because investing is risky, okay? That's basically... Right off the bat, I gotta tell you that. It can be risky, right? So that's like key, remember that. You have the opportunity to grow money, yes. However, you also have the opportunity to lose money. So you don't wanna be playing around with money that you can't afford to lose, okay? Or that you're scared to lose or that you'd be sad and fucking upset about when it fucking goes away because the market crashed or whatever. Now, keep this in mind, when you're doing investing, and we're gonna talk about where to invest later just in a second, you know, different. Uh, platforms and stuff like that <clears throat> just keep this in mind though when you're investing the market's volatile right it's going to be constantly changing so you cannot get emotional okay let me say that again the market is volatile right it's literally almost like a living organism where people because we are the ones investing and pretty much controlling the market and manipulating it it's it's very volatile that one day it's up one day it's down one day it's up one day it's down right it peaks and it uh, valleys and shit like that, okay? Bulls and bears, okay? You'll learn all these different terms the more research you do. Uh, so the whole point of this, though, is a lot of people get emotional, right? When they see their stocks going up or when they see their money or their share or their purchase go up in value and they're making a gain, right? They got a profit on the day or the week or the month or whatever. They get excited, and that's okay. Uh, you know, it's good to have, you know, some level of excitement. However, you got to stay level-headed, right? You got to stay balanced because people get too excited with that they do is they purchase more shares and then one day all the crashes and then you hear about it all the time people are like oh i was up was up and i was up and then the market crashed all right well you fucking didn't know what the fuck you were doing you got excited and you, you you acted off of emotion right instead of being logical right because if you're logical you may not have done that right same thing when the when the market crashes or when your stocks go down people get scared they're like oh my god my money uh right and then they pull out right away because they don't have the faith or the belief that their stock can go back up and then they take out their money they're like, fuck it, I don't want to lose anymore. 30, 40 days later, or even sooner, sometimes longer, whatever the case may be, their stock goes way up. And they're like, oh shit. So you got to just be mindful of the stocks that you're in. You got to be mindful of the market that you're in. You got to be mindful of what the fuck's going on in the economy, period. Okay? If you don't know, if you're not paying attention to it, then how do you expect to even be a good investor? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? Because it's not just something you can be, you know, taking lightly where you just invest and then don't pay attention to it okay if you're really into seriously investing that you have to be like on your shit you got to be at least paying attention to it daily really you should be looking at your stocks daily you, should, you know weekly okay you know what i'm saying maybe monthly 
and maybe if you're setting and forgetting and just hold it, you know, if you're really that confident, you don't really care that much, you know, again, because you're somebody who's got so much money and these are just something that's going to be a good nest for you, right? A lot of people just use these type of investments, like their stock portfolio, just to have something on the side, just to have something growing, right? They don't use it as a fucking mechanism to gain wealth and to get rich, right? And by the way, you should not do either, okay? That's, that's key right now. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Like buying stock options is not how you're going to get rich, okay? It is not how you're going to attain financial freedom, most likely, okay? Sure, you might get some big gains. You might have some incredible fucking, you know, profits and it's awesome. However, you know, you gotta have other things going on. You gotta have other vehicles in motion, okay? You gotta have other sources, okay? Now, the stock market, it's based off of the world, right? The stock exchange, right? Different currency pairs, right? Different businesses, different companies. They go public and people have the opportunity to purchase shares of them, right? To essentially own a small fraction of the company's worth, okay? And as the company produces and does more in the economy and they, they grow, well, then your share essentially would grow up as well, right? However, if they're going through things, right? If the company is doing this or that's happening, they might be facing lawsuits or products aren't selling as well, whatever, whatever, you're gonna realize, you know, their shares temporarily might dip, okay? So, Going back to this, if you got money, I would suggest, you know, having again, anywhere from three to six months of savings on deck, just the way you're not playing yourself and, you know, losing money. Okay, if you want to get invested, guys, you have a couple options. Now, a lot of people like to do, and, and here's the thing, I'm not going to give you advice on what to purchase, okay, or not even really the type of purchases you should make, okay, there's day trades, there's long-term trades, options, and all the different things you can do. I'm just gonna tell you straight what I do, okay? I use what's called Robinhood. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the app. It's called Robinhood. You can get the app right now on your iPhone or your Android. Literally just tap the link below and you'll get actually a free share. Like you would literally get a free stock. You can get like Apple, you can get Facebook, you can get Microsoft, up to $500 uh, worth in stock right now for free if you just tap the link, okay? And then you can actually follow along with me as I'm speaking on the uh, the program and, and on the app so you can kind of be familiar about with what i'm talking about and be looking at it and get your account funded and start trading uh right away because it's pretty simple the way Robinhood helps you and sets it up so they make it very intuitive for the user all right and uh, the reason i use Robinhood primarily i also use fidelity which you know i i'm, I'm invested into the nasdaq into the, the s p 500 right so these are other these are other different mutual funds and things like that you know, these are other things you can do, okay? If you want to use Fidelity, you can do that. You can use Vanguard. You know, I'll drop a link down here for you too. Um, and these are where, this is where you can actually, you're going to need like at least $2,500 or $5,000 for those type of situations. You know, and again, don't play yourself. You need money, okay? And that's when you're actually able to buy the domestic stocks and, you know, and organize your portfolio uh, according to um, basically what's going on in the world. Again, these trades in Robinhood are more specific for like unique uh, companies or actual companies if you want to say coca-cola again tesla you're gonna look at amazon right these are specific names that you're going to recognize whereas when you're investing in the vanguard and the s p and the nasdaq and all that stuff it's more general right it's more it's it's, it's securities and different things like that uh so we're, we can pretty probably, probably make a whole other video on that to be honest with you uh, because right now i'm gonna focus on just just the idea of investing okay yes you can use vanguard you can use fidelity and you can use Robinhood, which is what i'm going to primarily talk about right now because i know that's what you're you're probably going to like the most um right as a as a beginner uh, as a beginner so go ahead and get the app if you've got it already great if you haven't already you know the link's right here for sure get it get it get it all right and then what you're going to basically do is you're going to connect your bank account to Robinhood, right? And then ultimately, you got to have a checking account. It's got to be accurate. You got to set it up, man. You can't be you can't be illegitimate. You got to be a real person with an active bank account. You got to be doing shit legit, okay? It's going to take a few days, maybe not even maybe instantaneously. It might take however long it takes to set that up. Just set it up real quick. Next thing you know, you'll be able to transfer funds, right? You'll be able to transfer your funds from your bank account to the app. And then you'll be able to actually start browsing for different companies right based on what the ticker symbol is so you know for example um if you want to look for tesla their stock symbol is tsla right something like that right so you just type in the letter or you can type in the brand coca-cola you'll see it's like K O K O, okay or 
you want to find Amazon, it's AMZN or something like that, right? So you'll find all these different shares. Right? You can actually find the watch list too. If you're on the app right now, you'll see the watch list or you can start to add the certain ones that you 